Guys, if you ever wanted to make your own Korean barbecue sauce, let me show you how I do it. I wanted to try something different with presentation today, so let me know what you think in the comments below. We're going to start off by struggling to crush this garlic. I've got this bad boy packed full as I'm going for around two tablespoons of fresh garlic. You can mince it, you can chop it, whatever you like. Now we're going to go for about one tablespoon of chili garlic sauce. I'm using that Mr. Bing. We're going to cut up one regular size pear into quarters. Now we're going to take three-fourths cup of that turbinado sugar. You can use brown sugar if you like. We're going to drop that directly into our food processor. Now we're going to drop our whole pair of skins and all directly in here in the quarters. Now we're going to drop our black pepper, garlic, dark sesame oil, rice wine vinegar, ginger paste, you can use fresh if you want, our hot chili sauce, some cornstarch, and then we're going to blend it up. And that's it. We have a nice Korean barbecue sauce, but it's lacking a little something. Let's throw some God Save the Queen in there too. Speaking of God Save the Queen, that looks like a perfect topping for these smash burgers we're gonna make, as we're gonna make some Korean barbecue burgers. Go ahead and coat each side here. Press it in so it'll stick and drop it on a piping hot grill. I'm gonna use my char griller flat iron. Smash those burgers right. Now when the edges get brown, they'll be ready to lift off. You toast your buns, of course, don't be a chump. And then go ahead and flip those burgers. If they don't release from the grill, they're not ready yet. Or you burn the crap out of them, one or the other. Once your burgers are done, we're gonna pull them off. We're gonna take them inside. We're gonna hit it with a little of sriracha aioli, some tomato, the burger, a little bit of that Korean barbecue sauce, and some hot kimchi, which I got from a local provider here in Indianapolis. We're gonna cut that bad boy in half, and we're gonna take a bite. Smash that subscribe button, that like button, leave a comment below. Check us out at skullandmortar.com, and we'll see you soon with a brand new recipe.